Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. Thanks for joining me again today for your horse training tip. I have here a silly little uh, yearling stud colt that's trying to bite me a little bit. Um, he hasn't had very much handling. Um, he's just been spending time growing up, but um, I recently started to work with him so that he can uh, learn some manners. Um, today I'm going to teach him how to stand for the water hose. Now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is apply the pressure of the water hose on his leg and I'm going to keep the pressure applied on his leg until he shows a sign of relaxation. This is going to be important in case we need to treat um, an injury or, or someday when he's a riding horse, um, we can cool him down. Um, this horse just needs more handling, as you can see, he's very distracted and he has bad manners. So um, I think it's um, a good time to start with him on something like this. So um, I have my gloves on, I have him in a rope halter, and I have him um, on a lunge line. He needs lots of space because he will probably try and get away from me and get away from the hose pretty often and uh, so I'm going to stick right with him and uh, insist that the water pressure, the water is not going to go away until he stands still. So wish me luck, we're going to give it a go. All right, so hosing down was a success. I was able to hose down his uh, front legs and his shoulder and one side of his back for today. Uh, as you can see in the video, I kind of stuck with him with my hose until he stood still, even for a second. Um, I have some other issues uh, that I'm working through with this horse. As you can see, he keeps trying to bite me and invade my space. Unfortunately, this horse hasn't been worked with hardly at all, except um, you know every day to go in and out of his uh, pasture to a stall. Um, in an ideal world, we would have been working with him a little more about manners, especially since he's a little stallion. Um, every day for short intervals, um, you know, much earlier. And now he's um, a little over a year old. He kind of feels his strength, and um, he's. Um, if we don't address this now, he could become a little bit dangerous. Actually, while I was leading him back from the water hose experience, he actually reared up, like straight up to the sky with me. So I took him to the round pen and I worked with him for, um, I just kind of made him go in each direction, um, kind of 
for about five or ten minutes, and um, good boy. And um, so that let him kind of get it all out, so that we could come back here and uh, and wrap up with you guys. But anyway, uh, this is certainly a work in progress. Uh, this horse needs a lot more training, just in general manners and um, everything like that. So uh, stay tuned. You can follow his training and what we do for a yearling and teaching him manners and getting him acclimated to scary things like the water hose. Thanks so much for joining me again today. If you like this video, be sure to like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, stay tuned because next time I'm going to teach him that fighting people is bad because obviously that needs to happen. So check back in with us and I'll see you guys next time.